Tomorrow is my surgery. <laughs> this is my Taekwondo coach. I'm really nervous, like really nervous. Wish me luck. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Now, I'm not sure if you guys know, but if you've watched my two recent vlogs, I talked about how my knee's been in like pain and I've been getting pain for like the past two months now. And basically what happened was I went to get an MRI on it because they reckon it was something more than just like massaging it and like icing it to get it better. So I got an MRI done like three weeks ago now and they found that I've actually torn my meniscus. So... Basically, that means that I can't do any, like, taekwondo or dance or, like, surfing, anything that I like to do, like, any exercise. I can't go to the gym and stuff until it's fully healed because a meniscus, when it's torn, it's, like, it, the pain is really bad and, like, it'll only get worse if I don't deal with it. So I went to the surgeon, like, two weeks ago, the week after I got the MRI, and they basically said that the only way it's going to get better is if I get surgery on it. So basically, I actually have no idea how I did it. Like, I remember I had dance and surfing on the same night, and it was a Friday night. And then the next day on Saturday, I felt the pain. And I just remember waking up. I got out of bed. I literally couldn't move my leg. I couldn't walk. I literally struggled so hard to walk. I couldn't go to Taekwondo that day, and the pain was so bad. And since then, it's, like, been getting better. But every time it gets better, I'll do something. And then it goes back to square one, and I can't walk again. And it's never, like actually gotten to the point where I can do exercise and I don't feel any pain at all and like say if I'm walking I can walk fine but then every now and then it'll like catch and that like really hurts and like the way that I like stop the pain from hurting when it's like caught is I try and like straighten it so it's like say this is my leg bent I like try and straighten it like that to like get rid of the pain but it feels like if you've like broken your pinky or something and you're trying to like straighten it it's like the same it feels like the same pain as that because I broke my pinky before and it like feels like the same thing so that's what's happened and it sucks because I literally like it's holidays in like two weeks time actually in one week's time it's holidays and I just like was so excited to go for this holiday like practice do some training go to the gym work so hard get ready for next year's competitions and stuff go extra, do some extra surfing because like I said in my last video I want to become really good at surfing this year I'm gonna do my best to share this journey with you guys share my recovery share how I'm going to get back into training, like my motivation stuff, because I know there are so many athletes out there and obviously most athletes deal with injuries all the time. The process of getting back into it, the recovery stage, all that stuff, it takes so much motivation and that even like a lot of athletes can lose motivation while they're actually in an injury because you're out of that training for so long and like your mindset changes and stuff. Purely for me so far with my mindset, I just like am so much more motivated to like train hard, work hard. And I feel like this really happened for the better because when I was constantly just training and stuff, just constantly in that mindset of like push, 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 it sort of like burns you out after a while. So I guess I really need this to sort of refresh my mindset, refresh my body, help me to feel rejuvenated so that when I go back, I'm going to be 10 times stronger, 10 times more motivated and I'm going to come back a better fighter than I was before for Taekwondo. And then even with surfing, it's gonna re-motivate me so much because I was so into surfing when I got the injury. I actually started surfing after I got the injury. So I haven't actually surfed without it being in pain, which will be very interesting because it's gonna be so much easier, I feel. So that's the case with that. So what they can normally do is like stitch it up because there's blood supply on each side. So they can like stitch it up down the middle. But because I've torn it this way, which is horizontally, there's no blood supply on the bottom half, so the chances are they're probably going to have to cut it off, which is worse long term because it leads to arthritis and things like that. But it does mean I'll get back into training in like three weeks, whereas if I get it stitched up, it'll be up to like two months. I would rather them try and stitch it because stitching it, even though I'll be off for two months, it's not like I have competitions now anyways. And plus, it's so much better long term because they want to try and preserve your meniscus as much as possible, especially because I'm only 15 years old. But if they have to cut it off, which they're probably going to have to do because it's torn completely vertically, and like I said, there's no blood supply on the bottom half, then it's going to suck. But I mean, look, I'll be back into training faster. They're just going to do whatever they said is best. And my surgeon is so lovely. He even said, I'll treat her like she's my own daughter, like do whatever's best for the situation that she's in. Most likely they're going to try and stitch up as much as possible and then cut off the rest. And they even said, like the surgeon was even like, the only thing that doesn't match up is why she tore it the way she did at her age because the way I tore it 
normally only happens to people in like their 40s and mid 50s so it really all just came down to bad luck this is a big part of my life i've never gotten surgery in my life before i am really nervous the only three things that scare me is the dark lizards and stitches so that's what I'm going to be faced with tomorrow. But you know what? Everything happens for a reason, like I keep telling myself. And this is only going to make me stronger. This is only going to make me so much more motivated for dance, taekwondo, and surfing. When I get back into it, it's going to be better than ever. So that's basically what's happening. I thought I'd inform you guys. Tomorrow is my surgery, so I'll update you guys then. I'm really nervous. Like, really nervous. I don't seem nervous, but I promise you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Oh, <sighs> But, yeah. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow when I'm getting my surgery. Wish me luck. You can barely see me because it's like still sort of dark outside. But um, what was I going to say? I literally got like one hour of sleep last night because I just couldn't sleep. I was like so nervous for today. And I had like three slices of cheesecake last night and so many glasses of milk and water because from 12 o'clock last night, I can't drink or eat anything. So now I don't feel as hungry because of that, which is good because otherwise I'd be like starving by now. But we're about to go to the hospital. I don't know if I should listen to like hype music on the way there to get myself feeling confident or if I should listen to like relaxing music to like relax me. But I'll see. Anyway, I see my parents like leaving, so I'm probably going to have to go. But um, yeah, that's basically been what's happening. I'm so nervous. Mind you, my skin is looking kind of good. So like there's always a positive side to everything. And now I can like say that I've had surgery before. So there's also a first time for everything. So I'll be fine. I just, let's just see how it goes, but I'm so nervous. Oh yeah, and then you I got. Take, they said they you said have my to take a file with you. Yeah, they said my surgery is in like an hour from now. I thought it'd be in like four hours or something, but yeah. I'm not mentally prepared yet. That's okay. You'll get there. Don't worry. <laughs> Do you like the outfit? <laughs> <laughs> it's quite it's, snazzy. It's quite comfy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's got a little trimmer. Yeah. Actually, come with me and I'll do that. Good look, isn't it? Right. 11 out of 10. I'll do you? Yeah. Oh, wow. I was just reading about that quite a bit. Yeah. Family, Sunday. Well, I can't they were like, when I went into surgery, I was so scared I wasn't gonna like go to bed because I just had so much energy. And then I was like, oh, what if I don't fall asleep? And then straight after that, I just fall asleep. <laughs> so the anesthetic worked. I think the doctor was good. Pardon? The doctor was good. Yeah. Look at that girl music. Put it in there. I just feel nauseous now. Yeah. It's normal. It's like. I'm so dizzy, yeah. especially when I get up. Oh my God. Yeah. But the orange juice and like sandwich was so good. Mm -hmm. I haven't eaten since 10 o'clock yesterday. So. Mm. And your knee just all bandaged up, isn't it? Yeah, it was it hurt after, but now it's like fine. They gave me like stuff to get rid of the pain as much. Mm -hmm. 
They're so pretty. Always the nicest. Mm -hmm. Roast beef, chicken, egg, and ham. So I'm here um, with Lauren. She's just finished her model shoot. <laughs> Pretty tired. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Taekwondo coach. Hi. <laughs> I'll, leave his, I'll leave his Instagram, um, his, what's it called, YouTube over here. So Lauren just finished her surgery. And um, she's pretty nervous, aren't you? Yeah, I cried after. So this is Lauren's friend. So how'd you do your knee, Lauren? It wasn't, it wasn't from Taekwondo, no, that's for sure. I've told them. It was either surfing or dance. Surfing or dance. See, On that see kids, Taekwondo is a safe sport. <laughs> that's debatable. I got like concussed by Chantel. Oh, I remember that. Do you remember? Look at this. So if you hold your arm out like that, and the rule of thumb is you put, you know, two or three fingers under there, and you don't want your crutches to cut up any further than that. Yeah. But I try, see how you go with these like that, and yeah. then um, use them for, you know, half an hour or whatever. Yeah, okay. And if you feel you want a bit more strength in your wrist, just bring it up one. Okay. But I wouldn't bother about too much taller, because it's not yeah. meant to be yeah. under there. It feels comfortable. Though. Yeah. Okay. Let's see about that. It's like one o'clock now and we're heading home. I really want to get something to eat because I haven't eaten since, actually before they gave me a sandwich and like a juice box, that was good, but I haven't eaten pretty much since yesterday besides that. So I really want some food and I got my crutches. So that's good because they said I didn't need crutches, but it still really hurts to like walk with it. So I thought I may as well get it. I'm, I've just got it for a week though. And then after that, it should be fine. But yeah, I just like, after I woke up from the surgery, I was so out of it and I felt so nauseous and stuff. And then they tried to like get me to stand up and like the whole room was like spinning because it was like so dizzy and stuff. But I feel so much better now. I'm just still tired. So I'm going to go home and have a nap. I'm just so glad that I'm out of there now and I can go home, see Sheba and just get something to eat and get some rest. I've been home now for like the past two hours and I've just been like sitting in bed relaxing but my knee is literally throbbing like it hurts so bad and like whenever I try and get up to like go to the bathroom or something it's such an effort like walking there and it's like literally like 10 meters away so it really hurts I'm gonna go to bed and see if it like feels better after because right now it's literally throbbing and it's the worst pain so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that but that's the current situation that we're dealing with right now I actually had a really good sleep last night. I fell asleep at like 7. I woke up at like 4 in the morning. I think I had a really good sleep because I was under the anesthetics and stuff because I didn't think I'd be able to fall asleep since I could like barely move my leg and it was like really uncomfortable, but I fell asleep so easily. Yeah, I woke up at 4. I went back to bed until like 7 and then I sat in bed for a few hours, watched some YouTube and like edited this vlog. And then I was like, you know what, Lauren, you need to get out of bed because if I just spent the whole day in bed feeling like groggy and stuff, that'd be not good. So I got up, washed my face, got ready for the day. I'm just chilling outside right now and it's so relaxing. But yeah, yesterday when I got home from the hospital, my knee was in so much pain. It was like throbbing, like I said, in the last clip. And I was just like, say if I was sitting in bed, I just feel it like pulsing. And then when I try to get up, it really, really hurt. But now it's like so much easier to walk. Like I still can't walk on it like properly like well but it's so much better than yesterday so that's good i'm just glad there's like progress and i feel so much better today but yeah yesterday when i got back from the hospital i was just like relaxing in bed listening to like chill music and i was in such a trippy state like i was literally like lying there i wasn't asleep but i wasn't awake and then like i'd have my eyes closed and then i'd be like oh like i feel like i was like in the car and i was like oh we're getting out of the car now and then i'd get out of my bed thinking like i was getting out of the car and then i went back to sleep and then I was like, oh, Lauren, you can't just sit here on the mats not training. Like, start training. So then I got up and, like, I was like, wait, Lauren, you're, like, at home doing nothing. If that makes sense. My mind was just so trippy. It just felt like I was doing all these things when really I was just in my bed sleeping. But it was so relaxing. Honestly, overall, I was, like, you guys know, I was so scared to go into surgery. But, like, it was fine after it. Like, it did hurt a lot. They gave me double painkillers because the pain was really bad after, like, when I was still in the hospital. 
it's a lot better today though so i'm just taking the day to relax and i'll keep you guys informed with how it's going and stuff but yeah i thought i'd wrap up the video here thank you guys so so much for watching i love your support so much you have no idea guys thank you i'm uh, just chilling out here the sun is nice and out so it's really relaxing i'm going to the surgeon next week to get my bandage off and i'll keep you guys updated along the journey but thank you guys so much for watching please like subscribe and comment if you want to but you do not have to and i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>